guys, thanks for joining us. My name is Caitlin and I am one of the showkeepers here at the Naples Zoo. And joining me on stage, I have Leah with me as well. And she has Otis. And Otis is a six banded armadillo. You know, Otis, he might look familiar to you guys because we do have his cousin species here in Florida, the nine banded armadillo. You know, Otis here, he is actually from South America. More specifically, they're found down in Brazil. And these guys have some really cool adaptations. They are more of a prey animal, so they need to have a couple cool things that help keep them safe from predators. And a lot of times when we think of that, we think about the cartoon armadillo rolling up into that nice tight ball and kind of rolling away into the distance. But you know, some armadillos can do that, but Otis here is just a little bit too big. So he does a couple other really cool things. First off, he has that nice tough shell on the outside of his back and that gives him the nickname, the little armored one. You know, he'll use that to keep him safe from those predators. He'll pancake down as flat as he possibly can to keep that soft underbelly nice and covered. You know, Otis here, he actually is pretty quick. He can run about 30 miles an hour and he can run away from those predators if he absolutely has to. And he can also swim really well. He can do a couple different things. He can take a giant gulp of air and float across the top of a body of water, or he can hold that air in and he can walk across the bottom of a river and he can hold his breath for up to six minutes, which is really impressive. And I don't think I know anybody else that can do that. You know, these guys also have some other cool adaptations. They're related really closely to the giant anteater. So that means that they have a tongue that's kind of similar and they use that to get their prey, which is mainly insects. On stage here, Otis is getting a mixture of berries, fruit, and some of his favorite super worms. And he uses that long sticky tongue to get those worms and eat them for dinner. You know, in the wild, they're gonna do something very similar. They're gonna use their really tough claws to dig into those ant hills and termite mounds. They'll use that nice long tongue to reach in there and get their next meal. That's such a cool adaptation that they have, and it helps them get their food in the wild. And it also helps them build burrows, which keep them safe from predators and other prey animals. And it provides home for a lot of other animals down in the rainforest. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing Otis. We sure love him here in the Safari Canyon, and we hope to see you guys soon. Thanks!